The Wood Shop is sponsored by Sheffer Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to turn an inside out Christmas ornament. Before I get started though, I want to give a shout out to Larry from the Tiny Trailer Workshop. He had to go into the hospital to have some tests run. So I'm sure a lot of you have subscribed to him and that's why he hasn't been around. Um, so I'm sure you'd appreciate it if everybody just kept him in their thoughts and prayers and hope to see you back soon, Larry. All right, and I want to announce the ornament challenge again this year. Al and I have been doing this for a few years, but we have some sponsors this year. So I want to thank Carter & Sons Tools, Paul Crabtree from Crabtree Tools, and Chef Work Kits. They're all throwing in uh, prizes. Um, Alan's going to come over next week and we're going to do a list of all the rules. Um, so make all the lawyers happy. I came up with a couple here, but I'm sure Alan and I will uh, get it all ironed out when he comes over. All right, and also I am throwing in as one of the prizes my old Novichok. So it's slightly used, but it is still in perfect working order. So it's gonna be one of the giveaways too. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna make an inside out Christmas ornament. All right, I have four pieces here, and I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue on each of the corners here and glue them together. And I had a couple of questions about my, my hot glue gun here. I just picked it up at a yard sale, but if you're going to use hot glue to glue uh, something to a faceplate or something, you need a probably need a bigger one. It really needs to get the glue hot, and it's just regular hot glue you pick up at the craft store. It's, there's nothing nothing special about it. All right, now I'm just going to wrap some duct tape around the ends to secure it a little better because I'm only going to be working on the center part right here. All right, so what I did is I took it on the bandsaw and cut into it just a little bit, maybe maybe less than a quarter of an inch so that the spur drive can grab a hold of those. You don't want to put too much pressure on it from the tailstock and pop it apart. And then I drill the hole down through the center on the other side. All right, so I'm going to come in in the center and just make a cove. And you want to make sure you get into the all the way into the center where it's true. So that way when we flip it around, it'll it pops through. All right, I'm going to turn the lay speed up to about uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, about 1500 I think. And I'm just using a spindle gouge. Okay, I'm going to go with that, I'm, so I'm going to sand it up and then I'll take it all apart and spin it around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop it apart and put it back together. Okay, so I'm just gluing them back together. Try and keep the glue off the edge there because when it squeezes out, it'll come out on the inside and then you have to clean that out. So try not to put too much there. dry. I just went ahead and trued up the ends on the chop saw, drilled another hole, and I'm going to put it in here and turn a tenon down on it so that I can grab it in the scroll chuck. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and true it up and then start shaping it. And again, I'm just using a spindle gouge.
I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it and then I'll part it off. All right, I'm just finishing up with 600. And it's just uh, paste wax and mineral oil. All right, there we go. I need to clean this up by hand. I have no way of getting it back on the lathe, really. But I went ahead and poked the, the tailstock here in just a little bit so I have something to start drill, but I'll put a little hook in that. All right, there we go. I'll put some pictures up at the very end, but these are a lot of fun to make. All right, so the ornament challenge is going to start November 1st. We're going to stop it towards the end of November. Ellen's going to come over and we will go over all the all the rules and everything and give you a list of all the prizes and the sponsors. So, as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. All right, take care.